for our today's session, ito yung ating lesson anak, no? Ipa-blast ko siya sa ating uh, screen. So yung aaralan natin is actually all about reading of measurements using a ruler. So ang concentration muna natin in this session is under ng English system. At dahil ruler yan, actually may dalawang parts ang ruler pagdating sa measurement. Yung nasa bandang ibaba is the metric system while the other one is the English system. Sa English system, ang unit na ating ginagamit is actually inches. Doon naman sa metric system, kapag ang consideration is 10 division, we have the centimeter. But if tigis ang guit lang, we have the millimeter as a unit. Doon sa bawat guit ng ating foot rule o tinatawag natin ruler. Now, for the continuation ng ating uh, measurement discussion, we have to define first the meaning. We have to give meaning first for the word ruler or foot rule. Actually, ito yung sample natin ng figure ng ruler. So, yung binigay kong alimbawa, meron siyang uh, capacity na 6 inches. Pagdating sa English system, ito yung nasa taas. Yung nasa baba naman is meron siyang uh, total measurement of 15 centimeters pagdating sa centimeter o sa metric system. Tawain yung uh, example natin ng ruler, no? Kinuha ko sa net yan, yung dalawang yan. So, yun ang uh, alimbawa natin ng apparatus na tinatawag nating ruler. So, may dalawang function yan. Yung isa is panukat ng mga object gamit ang English system. Yung isa naman is metric system. So, ang concentration natin for today is all about the English system. So, I will teach you how to use the ruler and how to read measurements using a ruler in two different ways or different forms ng mga fraction na may encounter natin. By the way, may tatlong klase tayong fraction na nakno. Yung proper fraction, ito yung mas maliit ang numerator kaysa sa denominator. And the second one ay ang tinatawag naman nating improper fraction. Kung saan ay mas mataas ang value ng numerator kaysa sa denominator. The third one, we have the mixed fraction. Mixed, pro, uh, mixed fraction is actually comprising of three parts. The whole number, the numerator, and the denominator. Alimbawa, 4 and 1 part. Na 4 and 1 part. 5 and 1 up. Yung 5 doon is actually a whole number. And then yung 1 is the numerator. And then 2 is actually the denominator. Kung 4 and 1 half yung ating given na mixed fraction. Pero ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng ruler? A ruler can be defined as a tool or device used to measure length and draw straight lines. So yung pag pagiging straight edge ng ating foot rule, pwede natin niyang panggamit sa pag-drawing ng straight line para direct yung ating guhit. Walang uh, pa korba korba o curve. Sigurado straight line yung maguguhit natin. And it is actually used for measurement. Ang function niya is for measurement. A ruler or measuring tape, the other term for ruler is actually measuring tape or foot rule, can be used actually to measure lengths in both metric and customary units. Kapag sinabing customary, yan yung English system, anak, no? Kasi dalawang klase yan. Iniba lang yung term dito. Customary, ito yung English system. So here, the ruler is marked in centimeters, yung nasa baba. Ito yung centimeter natin. And then, while on the top, inches yung nasa taas. Okay? So, paano ba ang pagbabasa niyan? Mamayang konti, matutunan mo, anak. So, ruler or foot rule pa rin tayo. Even these two samples of ruler, we have actually two measurements on a ruler. Dalawa yan, anak. 
dalawang klase ng pagsusukat. Yung una at yung pangalawa, ito anak, no? Most rulers in the United States have markings on two sides. One side of the ruler has lines for measuring inches and feet. And yung nasi taas kanina. While the other side has lines for measuring millimeters and centimeters. The lines on the centimeter ruler side will be closer together than those on the inches or feet side. So yun yung dalawang klase natin ng uh, measurement na makikita sa ruler. Una, gamit ang inches and feet na unit. Yung pangalawa naman, centimeters and millimeters. Ang inches at ang feet, under yan anak ng English system. Walang centimeters at ang millimeters, under yan ng metric system. So may dalawang system of measurement ang ating ruler. Actually, hindi lang naman ruler ang may dalawang uh, system pagdating sa measurement. Even the Bernier caliper, merong ding English and metric system yan. And same thing with the micrometer caliper. Kung hindi ka pa nakakita, no, next time I'll show you micrometer and Bernier caliper. And in fact, pwede pakitang turuang sa paggamit ng dalawang aparatos na yun, yung Bernier and micrometer caliper. So, how to read the measurement in inches? So, ito yung usapan natin ngayon. So, makinig ka mahigit dito, anak, sa how to read the measurement in inches. So, ito yung uh, drawing natin. Yan. Kung papansinin natin, anak, maliban sa first line na to, maliban dito, anak, no? Tuturo ko siya. Maliban sa first line, ito, maliban dyan, maliban dito. Mula una hanggang uli, pakibilang mo nga anak hanggang sa dulo. Huwag mong ibilang ito kasi zero ang count dito. Pakibilang nga yung lines. Ilan ba lahat? Fifteen ba po? Bilangin mo uli anak. Nakasama ba po yun na doon sa huli? Oo, oh, anak. May kukunin lang ako, anak. Okay, nabilang mo na ba? 16 ba po, sir? Yes. 16 lines yan, anak. So, dahil 16 yan, anak, ang 16, kung kada isang guwit ang consideration natin, kung magsusukat tayo, saan mang line kung madala ang ating uh, gustong masukat, ano mang line ang pipiliin ko dyan, automatic, may denominator na 16. Kuha ba? Kuha ba? So yung 16, dahil 16 divisions siya, no, 16 lines, saan line kung man may tapat, ang sukat natin, automatic, is a fraction na may denominator na 16. So, alimbawa, anak, no, bibilangin ko. Kung alimbawa, nagsukat ako, eto kunwari yung sinukatan ko, ganito siya kahaba. Kaya lang, nung sinukatan ko yung object na yan, nag-stop yung sukat dito sa line na yan. So, bibilangin ko mula dito hanggang doon, anak, no, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nakailang guwit ako, di ba? Anim? Apa. Okay. So, ang sukat ng edge na yan, ng object na yan, ang numerator ko, 6. Ang denominator ko, 16. Kasi nga, nung binilang natin yung mga lines mula sa umpisa hanggang sa dulo, we have 16 divisions or 16 lines all in all. Kuha ba anak? Hindi kasama Apa. yung nagsimula tayo anak no? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Kuha ba anak? Apa. Okay, so continue natin. Buburin ko lang yung mga nakasulat anak no? Uh, tatalangin kita kunwari ngayon. Para lang uh, mas maigi na maintindihan mo. Halimbawa, 
Ito yung tinuro kong point anak. Kunwari nagsukat ako, dito nag-end yung surface o yung edge ng object dito sa line na yan. Sa line na to, ano yung sukat ng object? 12 po. 12? Apa. Over? 16 po. Lagi mong nilalagyan ng over 16. Okay, no? So, 12 over 16. Ang sukat ng object. 12 over 16 inch ang tawag doon. Yung unit na gagamitin mo, anak, is inch. So, ang leading niyan, 12, 16, 12, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 
Kung isa naman na lang, ano yung measurement mo dyan? Kung tigisa ang pagbibilang mo. 8 over 16 po. Yes. Dahil lang 4 over 8 at ang 8 over 16 ay iisa lang. Parehas lang yan alak. Okay, pakita ko sa yung mga measurement alak, no? Naintindihan mo na ba siya? Apo. Okay, so eto ngayon alak, no? Pakita ko siya sa'yo. Burin ko muna yung zero doon para klaro yung figure natin. So, 1 over 8 yung una, di ba? Bakit 1? Ito pa lang yung 1 eh. Kali ka dalawang buwit. So, 1, 2. Ito yung 1. Susunod dito naman. Over 8. Dating dito si ka-6 na buwit dahil every two lines tayo. 3 over 8. Kukuha na, Nak? Opo. So, this is 4 over 8. That will be 5 over 8. Ito naman is 6 over 8. 7 over 8 naman yan. And then, this is also 8 over 8 naman. Ang 8 over 8, kapag dinivide mo, number yan, 1 inch. Parang yung kanina, 16 over 16, 1 inch din yun. Ang 8 over 8 at 16 over 16 ay iisa lang. Kuha ba natin? Apo. Okay, yan naman yung uh, kada ikadalawang duet. Meron tayong 8 division sa isang inch lang namang. Susunod. How to read the measurement in inches pa rin tayo? What if naman anak kung kada ikaapat na duet? Ilang division meron tayo kung kada ikaapat na duet ay pukonsidera natin? Apat po. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, anak, lahat ng fraction natin re-read sa, sa ruler natin may denominator na po. Tama ba po? Apo. Okay. So, ganito yung ngayon yung reading. So, dito yung zero reading natin. Magbilang ako ng apat. One, two, three, four. Ito yung unang apat. So, one part. Nasa naman yung pangalawang apat? One, two, three, four. Two parts. Pangatlong apat. One, two, three, four. Three parts. At pangapat na apat. One, two, three, four. Four over four. Kung papasinin mo, four over four is one. Tama? Ang four over four, ang eight over eight, at ang sixteen over sixteen ay iisa lang. Nakukuha ba natin na lang? Apo. Okay. Continue. How to read the measurement in inches? Ito yan, anak, no? Ayan. So, yun yung control natin. What if kung kada ikawalong buwit ang consideration natin, ilang division meron ng ating palukat? Ilan po? Every eight lines, ilang division meron tayo kung tigwawalo? Dalawa po. Sa makatuwid, ang magiging denominator natin is Anong denominator gagamitin natin? Po. Anong denominator ang gagamitin natin sa fraction natin sa reading? 8. Ano? Ilang 8 ba meron? Dalawa. Yes. So, 2 ang denominator. So, ito yung zero reading. So, yung unang walo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Kasi ka dalawa ka uh, one up eh. So dalawa lang yung divisions natin. So one up 'yan. At yung pangalawang division na ito, 2 over 2. So ang 2 over 2 is 1. Sa so, makatuwid, 2 over 2, 4 over 4, 8 over 8, 16 over 16 are all equal to 1 inch. Klaro ba anak? Apa. Okay, ito siya ngayon, no? Di ba yan yung line natin? So, tingnan mo na ka. Una, 16 muna ang consider natin. Yung denominator ng bawat duwit. So, in-name ko lahat ng sukat. 0, 1 over 16, 2 over 16, 3 over 16, 4 over 16. Hanggang sa ating maabot anak ang pinakadulo ng ating figure. 10 over 16. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40,
13 over 16, 14 over 16, 15 over 16, 16 over 16. At kung idiretso ko yan, 17 over 16, 18 over 16, 19 over 16, kahit ilan pa yan, laging may over 16. Kukuha ba, anak? Apa. Okay, ito naman. No? Kada ikadalawang guwit naman tayo. Kapag kada ikadalawang guwit ang kinukonsidera, ang denominator ay 8. Kaya ito yung pangalawang guwit, 1, 2. Ibig sabihin ng 2 over 16, ito rin yung 1, 8. Kukuha ba, anak? Apa. So yung 4 over 16, kasi kapag rinindus mo may sa lowest term, makukuha mo pa rin eh. Another two lines. 1, 2. Ito yung pangalawang 8. O 2, 8. Ito naman yung 3, 8. Uh, 1, 2 ulit. 1, 2. 3 over 8. Another 1, 2. 1, 2. 4 over 8. This will be... Ano ka sunod? Pa. Ano yung uh, dito? Ano yung sukat dito kapag 8? Oo. Uh -huh. After lang po, over 8, 1, 2. Ano yan? Pang ilang dos na yan, anak? Diba kada ikan uh -huh. dalawang buwet? Apo. Uh -huh. O ano ito ngayon? Yung nakaturo ako. 10 ba po? O, yung may 10 over 16, ano yung ibang sukat niyan? Ibang form? Kapag, ilan po yung number? Diba? Ay, ano po yung number? Ibisahan ko anak, no? Ilan mo anak, no? Kasi ka dalawang guwe, diba? 1, 2. Sa makatuwid, ito yung 1, 8. Bibilang mo ulit ng dalawa. 1, 2. Ito siya, anak, no? Another 1, 2. 1, 2. 2 over 8. 1, 2. Ito yung 3 over 8. 1, ito siya, anak, no? Nag-guess mo ba? 1, Apa. 2. Kasi ka dalawang guwit, eh. Ito yung 4 over 8. E ano yung kasunod? 5 over 8. Yes. After ng 5 over 8, 1, 2 uli. Ano yung susunod? 6 over 8 po. And then afterward? 7 over 8 po. Yan. And lastly? 8 over 8 po. Okay. So, okay na yung kada ikadalawang guwit. Kapag kasi tiga-apat na guwit, ano yung denominator natin, anak? Kada ikadalawang na guwit, Ano yung denominator natin? Apat po. Apat. So, ano yung reading natin ngayon dito? Yan, tinuturo kong yan. 1 over 4 po. Yes. So, ito yung 1 fourth natin. Eh, yung gitna naman, anong reading nito? 2 over 4 po. Yes. Eh, ito? 3 over 4 po. And lastly, 4 over 4 po. Yes. Ngayon naman, kada ikawalong guwit, ang denominator natin, kada ikawalong guwit, is 2 o 2. Ano yung reading dito? Pa. Ano yung reading sa line na yan? Kapag kada ikawalong guwit, ano yung reading dito? Ikawalo po. One up siya na, di ba? Uh, kada walong guwit, one. Kapag eight po na line. Yes. Uh. Kapag nakawalo ka, one up yon kasi kalaati yon ng 16. Can you follow? So ito naman Apa. is 2 over 2. So dapat anak sa ulado mo yan. Okay? Pwede na mo anak, no? Practice tayo. At prepare ako okay, dito. Eh. O limbawa, Magtuturo ako, ha? Yan. Anong reading mo dyan, anak? Uh Oo. -oh. Wait po. Two 
October 7 ba po? Oo. Oh. Ilang guhit ba meron tayo? Malahan <coughs> ko ng guhit. Mula <coughs> sa umpisa dito. Bilangin mo nga yung guhit. Ang okay, po. Twenty po? Oh. <coughs> twenty is correct. Anong denominator ng twenty? Sa buong ruler po. Uh, ano yung magiging denominator kapag tigisang guhit lang ang akbang natin? Diba kanina ay naliwanan ko kapag tigisang guhit lang? Anong denominator kapag tigisang guhit lang? Twenty din ba po? 20 yung nabilang mong line anak. Ilan ang denominator kapag tigi isang... Saan yan po yung dulo po? Doon po sa 6? Ganito siya anak. Kapag tigi isang bilang, kapag by 1 ang counting, ang denominator automatic 16. Tama? Alala mo na? Uh, okay, kapag tigi isang guwit, 16 ang denominator. Pag kada dalawang guwit, ang denominator, 8. Yes mo? Up. Okay. Kapag kada apat na guwit, ang denominator, 4. Kapag kada ikawalong guwit, ang denominator is 2. Okay. Kapag pag-isa ang guwit, ang denominator ng fraction, 16. Kapag ang pagbibilang is kada ikadalawang guwit, ang denominator is 8. Pag apatan ng bilang, ang denominator 4. Kapag waluwa ng pagbibilang, ang denominator 2. Can you follow? Apo na. So yung ginawa mo dyan kanina, pangilaan ng bilang. Pangilan. Tigi ilan ng pagbibilang. Di ba by 1? Apo. Anong nabilang mo? 20 po. Anong magiging denominator ng 20? 16 po. So, anong tawag mo doon? Anong reading mo na? Lagyan mo lang ng denominator yung 20. So, 20 over? 16 po. Yan. Ganun lang siya kasimple yan. Ha? Kuha mo siya. So, sulat ko na. Oh. 20 over 16. Tama yan, anak. No? O, ngayon naman. Kung magbibilang ka ng pangdalawaan hanggang dito, makakailang ka, anak? Hanggang dito lang. Dalawaan ang pagbibilang. 10 over 8 po. Yes, 10 over 8 yan, anak. E papano kapag apatan? Oh, wait po. Lima po. O, ilang Five apat? over four po. Yes, very good. So, mga reading yan, anak. Kung tingnan mo yung calculator mo, kapag pinindot mo ito, anak, ang lilitaw ito. ba? Kasi yung tatlong yan, equal lang yung tatlong yan. Lahat ng readings natin, naka-improper fraction. Tawag dyan, improper. Kung mo ba, anak? Improper fraction lahat yung mga yan. Now, maliban sa mga sagot na yan, anak, no? Meron pang ibang paraan. Kunwari, no? Nakikita mo yung number? One inch na, di ba? One inch. So, meron na tayong one. One inch. So, ang gagawin mo na lang yan, anak, dito ka na lang magbibilang. Kung mag-ubisa sa 1, magbibilang ka ng buwit hanggang dito. Ilan ang mabibilang mo? 4 po. 4. 1 and 4. Anong magiging denominator ng 4? Dahil tigisa lang ang buwit. 16 po. So 1 and 4, 16. Is correct also. Kuha mo ba? Apo. Okay. Ngayon, may 1 inch na tayo. Anak na, no? may 1 inch na. Kada ikalawang buwit, makakailan tayo mula kay 1 hanggang dito. <coughs> Eight naman po yung bilang? Oo. Oh, Mag-ubisa ka sa one. 
Ito yung magiging... Dalawa po. Dalawa. Anong denominator ng dos ngayon? Eight po. Yan. One and two, eight. Tama din yan, anak. Ang one and two, eight ay yun din. Yung ten over eight. Ang one and four, sixteen ay yung twenty over sixteen din. Kuha ba? Apa. Ngayon, umpisa dito, hanggang doon, ilang, pang ilang apat. Kung nga pa sanang pagbilang, makakailang apat tayo. One po. Isa lang so, po. Ano magiging denominator ng one? Apat po. Yes. Yeah, so we have one and one court. Kuha mo na? Apo. Ang one and one court ay yung five over four din anak. Bakit no? Tinan mo anak no? One and one court. One and one court is actually a mixed fraction. Pwede kong i-convert yan sa improper. Kapag kinonvert ko yan sa improper, automatic, kukopyahin ko yung 4 sa baba. Ayan, anak. No? Tinan mo, kukopyahin ko yung 4 sa baba. No? From mix, convert, convert ko ng ganito. Ganito ang pakukonvert. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, makatuwid, magkamukha lang ang 1 and 1 fourth at saka 5 over 4. Kuha ba natin? Okay pa. Kaya ano, ito pa yung pangalawa. Buburay ko lang lahat ng mga nakasulat since recorded naman yan. Okay, buray ko muna yung mga nakasulat, no? So, ito, mauulit yung pagkakasulat ng mga yan. Ito actually sila eh. Gusto ko lang talaga maasa ka sa pagbabasa ng kutrol. Ito no. 1 and 4, 16, di ba kanina? Sabi natin. 1 and 2, 8. And 1 and 1, 4. Hindi ko na lang binanggit yung mga improper dito. Ngayon, magtuturo ko din ng isa anak, no? Sabihin mo sa akin kung ano yung measurement, kung ano yung reading mo. What if kung ito naman ngayon ang aking ituro? Iyan, okay. Iyan. Anong reading mo dyan, anak? Sige, gagayit kita. Huwag kang matakot magkagalit. Saan po galay? Sa 1 one, sa one inch ba po? Sa 2 inch? Sa 2 inch na, anak. Ah, okay po. Anong reading mo dyan? Sige, lahat ng reading mo, sabihin mo lang. Sabihin ko kung tama. 11 over 16 ba po? Ano? 2 and 11 over 16 po. 2 and? 11 over 16 po. Nagbilang ka ba, anak? Wait, body lang ko po. Huwag mong isama yung, yung mismong malaking line, no? Ah, uh, 10 lang po. Kasi dito yung isa. Anong reading mo? 10 over 16 po. Ito, yung buo, buo, anak, buo. Ay, buo. Wait, buo. Um, Kasama yung old number, di ba? Two and ten over sixteen po. Okay. So, two and ten over sixteen. Ang sagot mo lang, naburin ko lang. Ayusin ko lang po sa sulat ko. So, two and ten sixteen. Yan yung unang reading mo. Very good. Oh, another okay. reading. Same line. Ano yung ibang reading mo dyan? Uh, e paano kung pang dalawaan ng buwet? Anong reading mo dyan? 2 and 5 over 8 po. Okay. E pa paano kung gusto ko improper fraction? Pang dalawa ang buwit. Pagkisimula ka dito. Hanggang dito, anak. Kung pang dalawa ang buwit, gusto ko improper. Walang whole number, no? Pang ilan yan? Ilang ocho mabubuo natin? Ilang uh, over eight? Pang dalawa ang buwit? Wait po. 21 mo po? 21 over? 8 po. Very good. Tama. Okay, next. E pa, paano naman kung pang-isa ang buwit ang gusto ko? Improper po. Yes, improper. Pang-isa ang buwit lang. Wait lang po. Anak. 
It's what? Forty-two over sixteen, bapa. Very good. So you did it well, Nana. So forty-two over sixteen. Also, you are not. I think maybe this. Ay ni mga sagot nate. So forty-two over sixteen is actually correct. Bakit? Kasi sixteen times is two is thirty-two plus ten is forty-two. Are you sure kah don? Lo dapat magbilang kah talaga. Gusto ko magbilang kah. Pag nati so sure kah tina lang, no? Okay, very good. Dakuwa mo pareo. Actually, yung 21 over 8, yun din ang 2 and 5, 8. Yung isang sagot na nabanggit mo, ito yun na nakasulat ko na, no? Para kompleto sa monitor. Yan. Yung 42 over 16, ang kamukha niya ay yung una. Itong dalawa, magkaparehas lang yan. Pero sa in reality, lahat ng yan, magkakamukha lang. Isang sukat lang yung mga yan, hindi lang nakareduce yung iba to lowest term. Kuwa ba, anak? Apa. Okay, next lor. Wah, itu nama nak membasain mu. Reading lang lah mana? Kailangan lah lah mu kabisado mu ang putrul mu kait sandalin. Anu man sa an mana makarating yung sukat mu, gami tang ruler, dong sa object, apa talam mu yung reading? Tewat tipian lah man. Kailang konting is, hala ko po. Na, anak, sabihin mo lang. Yung mga kaya mo sabihin. Para ma-practice. Sa one po yung kisimula. Sa one po. Susunod ko sila. Eight over sixteen po. Ay, one and eight over sixteen po. So, one, eight, over sixteen. O, maliban dyan, ano pa? One and four over eight po. po. Okay. okay. Tama. Sige, anak. Sige pa. Uh, One and two over four po. Okay, galing ha. Okay, next. Sige pa. Meron pa yan. One and one... One over two po. Okay. Ano pa? Eh, improper naman ngayon. Improper po. Okay yes, po. improper naman. Twenty-four uh, oh. over sixteen po. Twenty-four <laughs> over sixteen. Okay, tama. Sige, next. Ano pa? Ang kasapat niya na yun eh. O, sige. 12 over 8 po. 12 over 8? Nasulat ko siya anak no. 12 over 8. Okay. Tama. Ang kasapat niya yun. Ano pa? Wait po. Six over four po. Okay. Tama. Ang kasapat niyan ay ito. O, sige pa, anak. Uh, eight po. Asay! 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 Wait lang po. Kaya yan, kaya yan. Three over two ba po? Okay, tama. So, pagkita ko yung sagot ko, anak, no? Ang sa akin, nilagay ko lang uh, puro mga big fraction. Ito siya, anak, no? Yan, meron ka niyan, di ba? Apa. Meron ka rin yan. Apa. At meron ka rin ito. At saka Apa. yan. Tumama lahat, anak ng sagot mo. Pati yung mga improper, gamay mo na. So, very good ka dyan sa pagkakataong yan. Nakukuha mo na. Okay. 
hindi pa ako content. So, syempre, continue pa rin natin yan. Ito, lock na. Ayan, naituro ko yan. Ano sukat niyan? Hindi hey, pa. Twelve. Two and twelve over sixteen ba po? Two and twelve over sixteen. Okay, tira ko siya kung tama, anak, no? Okay. Sige, tama siya, anak. Okay, next. Kung watch yun naman ang denominator. <coughs> six over... Two and six over eight, po. Two and six over eight is... I think correct. Okay, next. Ano pa? Kung 4 naman ang denominator, sa 2 sa langalin yan eh. 4 pwede yan. Wait, box. Uh, 2 and 3 over 4 ba po? Okay, tama. Eh pag 2, tingnan mo nga kung pwede sa 2. Magbilang ka nga lang uh, waluan kung pwede sa 2 yan. O hindi pwede. Kailan mo muna kung sakto yung buwit. Pag di sakto, ibig sabihin, hindi sa applicable. Hindi mo sa... Okay, okay. O ano naman yung, yung mga improper? Kasi anak, baka uh? balik na rin yung given eh. Kailangan alam mo pa rin. Okay, pa. Forty four over sixteen, pa. So forty four over sixteen. Kina ko nga. Kina ko kung tama na. Ah, okay, tama. Okay, next. Isa pa, isa pa. Dalawa pang inaanap natin yan. Kasi dalawa, talo yung improper eh. May katumbas lahat yan. 22 over 8 po. 22 over 8. Okay, tama. O next, ano pa? Eleven over four po. Okay, you're doing great, anak. Very good. Kuha mo lahat ng sukat ng tinuro kong line sa ruler. Ito, ayun, ayun, ayun mga sagot mo, anak. Tama lahat yan. Ibig sabihin, you're learning faster. Okay, we proceed to the next slide. Magtuturo ako, sukatin mo, anak, no? Iyan, ano, ano naman yan? Four over four? fourteen. I four and wait for four and fourteen over sixteen. Four. Four. Fourteen. 16. Okay, I guess. Tama siya. Okay, next. <coughs> 7 over 8 po. 4 Hello? and 7 over okay. 8 po. 4, 7, 8. Okay, I think. Tama din siya. Okay, meron pa. Doon pa ba? Wala na pa. O, kung gawin mong improper ba ang mga yan?
E, B, E. Kailangan maasa ka talaga sa ganyan. Kahit anong gawin kong babaliktad ng given, ang tanong, kayang-kaya mo, anak. 78 over 16 ba po? Okay lang, kuha mo. Very good. Kuha mo siya. 78 over 16 na. Discarte ah. Kuha mo sa discarte. Okay, how about yung isa naman? Enjoy mo lang yung ginagawa natin. Bagay ang ano ka dyan. Matututo ka ng gusto. Thirty nine over eighteen. I eight, ma po. Okay, tama. Thirty nine over eight. Very good, anak. Ang kasapat niyan, eto. Ang kasapat ng seventy eight over sixteen ay yun din yun. Okay. Paras lang yung mga yan. In reality, yung apat na yan, isang sukat lang yung mga yan, anak, no? At yan yung mga sagot mo na nakuha mong tama. Very good. What if? Kung magturo ako ulit. Tingnan ko lang kung pag di ka talaga natuto dyan, anak, no? Diba? O yan, anong sukat dyan? Napakadali. 3 and 1 over 16 okay, po. Okay, very good. So, sulat ko dito, anak, no? O, oh, wala nang iba niyan, di ba? Eh, ano naman yung improper Apo. niyan? Anong improper nito? Improper fraction na sukat. Forty nine over 16 ba po? 49 over 16. Okay, I think it's correct. Very good, anak. So, tinan ko nga yung sagot ko. Parehas tayo. Ayan, okay, tama. Okay, kuwang-kuwa, anak. Okay, proceed tayo. Ayan, ano sukat niyan? 5 and 26 over 16 po. Okay, tam, bumibilis ka na. Alam mo na sikreto eh. Ganyan lang yan, anak. Okay, ano yung susunod? 5 and 1 over 8 po. Meron pa ba? Wala na po. Alanganin na kasi, di ba? Okay, improper nila. Eighty two over sixteen po. Eighty two over sixteen. Okay, tama. Oh, susunod. Eighty two over eight po. Kumpak na tanak. Very good. Wala. Okay. Ayan, tama yung muna mong sagot kanina, no? Yung pangalawa ay tama din. Ayan ang kasunod. Ano yung reading niyan? 1 and 1 over 16 po. Okay, sulat ko siya. Anong yung proper fraction niyan? Uh, okay. 17 over 16 po. Okay, you did well, anak. Very good. So, pinako siya, anak, no? Tama. Very good. Anong reading niya, anak? Uh... Wait, pa. Uh... <coughs> One and ten over sixteen, bapa. One and ten over sixteen. 
Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, yan, tama. O, isa pa. Sige, kaya yan. One and five over eight po. Meron pa ba? Wait po. Wala na po. Ano mo mo lalaman na wala? Tingnan mo yung five. Di ba five is odd? <laughs> Kapag nagkata yung numero sa taas, wala na. Yung nagsikreto doon lang, no? Kapag nagkata yung numero sa taas, wala na. Di na pwede. Alang-alin na. Wala? Pwede yung mga yung proper ng mga yan. Uh, uh, 34 over 16 po. Oh, <laughs> po. A, Twenty-six pa. Hindi yata. Ang bilang ka muna na. ba? Oo, madali eh. Alam mo. Alam mo. Twenty-six over sixteen, ba po? Okay, tama. Oh, isa sunod. Eh, ba? Thirteen over eight, ba po? Okay, correct. Thirteen over eight. Oh, sulat mo na yung mga sagot na lang. Eh, yung mga silabi mo kanina, yata yon. 1 and 10, 16, at saka 1 and 5, 8. So, both are uh, correct. Okay, pasit tayo sa sunod. About siyan, anong reading mo dyan? 5 and 1 over 6 po. Six, 5 and 1 over? 16 po. 16. 16 anong po. Anong reading dyan? Sa improper fraction? Wait po. Uh-huh. 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 81 over 16 pa. Okay, very good. So, 81 over 16. Pinako nga kung tama. Okay, correct. Yeah. Balikan ko lang yan, anak, no? Kasi ko yung mga yan. Tuturo ako, ha? Break ko muna itong mga ito. Katanong ako sa'yo. Alimbawa, anak, ito tinuro ko. Gusto ko by one, by isang buwit. Ilan yan? Ay, pa. Ah. Alam natin, that's 3 inches. 8, 88 po. 88 over 16 po. Sure ka? Wait po. Ten. Ten. Huwag bilang ka na. <laughs> Ay, 48 pala po. 48. 48 over? 16 pa. O, baguhin mo yung denominator. Okay pa. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 24 over 8 ba po? Okay, tama. Baguhin mo pa yung denominator na. <laughs> Fourteen over. Oh, I wait, pa. Ubilang ka mo. Kaya kaya. Twelve. Twelve over four, pa. Twelve over four. Okay, tama si Gay. Magmeru pa lang, meru pa. Six over two, pa. Six over two. Lahat ng yan mga, lahat ng yan anak, no? Puro equal sa 3 inches yan. Kuha ba? Kasi 48 divided by 16, 3 yan eh. 24 divided by 16, 3 din yan. 
will divide by 4, 6 over 2, 3 inches lang at yan. Is mo anak? Apo. Eh, wati po ito naman ang itanong ko. Yan, 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 yan. yan. Anong reading dyan? Yung my whole number muna ba po? Yes, o. Oh. One and seven over sixteen pa. So, wala nang iba, di ba? Yan lang Apa. talaga siya. Ang tamang reading dyan, ay yan lang. Kuha. Ay, paano kung ito ituro ko? Titignan ko lang yung mastery mo, anak. Yan. Ito, ito, ito. Yan. Ano reading dyan? Two and three over sixteen pa. Yan. Bilis mo na. Ibig sabihin, okay yung ginawa natin. Ito, ito, ito. Ito, ito, ito. ito, ito. Yan. Ano yan? Yung guwit na to, yan. 3 and 14 over 16 pa. O, maliban doon, ano pa? Uh, 3 and 7 over 8 pa. Okay, you're doing great, anak. So, tiwala na ako. Na alam mo na yung English system ng measurement. Okay? Um, so, lahat ng lecture mo, anak, sa mathematics, ipasa mo sa akin, anak, no? Okay, pa. Okay, hindi lang sa science. Tomorrow, yung science natin, no? So, yung science natin tomorrow is more on biology about organism. So, we'll learn okay, through pa. that. So, titignan ko yung mga activities ninyo. Tutulungan kita magsabot na doon. Uh, Turuan kita regarding about organisms. Nakita ko yung alimbawa na binigay ng teacher mo, gumamit siya ng ball pen, eh. Okay, Apa. organism din yun. E tayo, mga living organism naman yung human body. Ay, okay, sir, na? ano? Wala na po kami sa organisms. Naka 8 over 10 po ako dun po sa quiz. O, Wala na, na po kami. Nasa susunod na topic na po kami. Ano yung topic niyo susunod? Wait lang po. Hindi na mo anak para masubaybayan ko. Starting tomorrow. Pa, 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 pa. Ito po ah... Uh, Plant and animal cells po. Plants and animals? Cells po. Cells. Quarter two, week four po. Quarter week four. Quarter two, week four. Ah, Apa, all about week... cells na tayo. So yung mga Apa. mutations, ano? Ah, iba-ibang klase siguro ng cells siya. Mati-check po naman. Uh, cells ng animals at saka ng plants. May kaibaan yung dalawang yan, siyempre. So, tomorrow, we'll be proceeding to biology naman. Hindi na muna tayo mag-matematics, anak, no? Okay, okay. po. I think uh, that's the end of our session for this session, anak, no? So, congrats. Alam mo na yung measurement sa English system, sa ruler. So, pwede ka lang maging engineer niyan pagdating ng araw, like your tatay. Salamat, anak. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, pa.